What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Sean and today... Oh, who loves the flow of this? Shoo oh. up! The emotion, the power... And then it just explodes! <laughs> okay. What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Sean and today we're going to be reacting to Ryu Su Jung with How Can I Get Your Love music video. So guys, we are back with some more Su Jung and we are getting into what I believe currently is the last music video from her uh, as part of this um, archive of emotions album. We'll of course also be getting into all of the other songs from her solo stuff. We will after this one be checking out one of the other loveliest members when it comes to music videos and then at some point get back into the b side from Su Jung. For now though, I'm actually really excited to see how can I get your love, uh, or, or well, how, how can I get your love is going to be. Because the songs from Su Jung so far, especially as part of this um, archive of emotions album, has been have been incredible. Especially the creative direction of the music video has been something different every single time. But all of them have, in a sense, been rooted very much in everyday life, very much in reality, such that it, in a sense, feels very relatable. Whatever happens within these music videos, whether it be daydreaming, where we are just, you know, you know, relaxing in a park, or whether it be love or hate, where it's kind of as if we have two different distinct personalities depending on if it's day or if it's night and i like that i've, I've really been loving her music videos so i'm excited to see how can i get your love or how how can i get your love is going to be let's get right into it okay, i'm like one of those <clears throat> old strings from like a doll Just her doing the harmonizing with the, a deeper voice. Wow, I'm, I'm digging this so much. It's a little sto Toy Story-esque. It's all about replacement and longing to be that, that new version. That was kind of a creepy shot. Okay, I don't like this shot. Do we have something here at the end? Oh, it's just the, uh, the credits here at the end with some shots. Film directed by by, by Kehun Production Sapiens. Really, really like the uh, the production of this one. As I said, 
The music video itself reminds me a lot of uh, of Toy Story, and as we get further into the song, into the music video, it actually just you know kind of reinforces that that um, kind of I guess remindment that I get of that because uh, well I don't know if you guys have seen Toy Story, what that would be Toy Story Four, I think where there is actually a doll in Toy Story 4 that has lost its voice box. So I think it was just uh, I think it was just a production failure. So it never had a, a correct voice box and actually ends up trying to get Woody's uh, voice box. Spoilers, a little bit late, but spoilers. But that's kind of what happens here. She's looking through all of these um, like uh, teddies to kind of replace her own voice box such that it works again and such that she can finally be loved. Now, this one is a little bit more, this one feels a little bit more abandonment like. So this is like, she's been, she's been loved before, but she's kind of become old. She, you can see her nails were scratched, her feet were bruised. It looked like, you know, she, she's become an old toy. She's become a, a almost, you know, destroyed toy, but she's trying to kind of make herself new again, which is like, I don't know, it, it's such a, it's such a weird feeling when you listen to this song because yeah you it's it's really messed up that she's destroying all of these other toys in order to kind of be renewed in order to be loved herself but like you kind of understand the feeling of wanting to be to be loved yourself but in the end it, it becomes one one big crap bucket and what we actually see in the toy story story is that even this doll who's lost her voice who doesn't end up getting woody's voice ends up finding some girl who actually loves her despite her not having this voice box and overall, I actually think that inspiration, if that is uh, the actual inspiration for the music video, is brilliant because I love that part of the movie. And the way that Soo Jung is singing here, again, is so, it's so defeated. It's so longing after that love. I think the way she's put her emotion into the song is incredible. She's done really well at conveying this whole feeling just with her, just with her vocals. And I love that. I, I think this is, again, an absolute masterpiece. Yeah, guys, that was Su Jung longing for love with How Can I Get Your Love, uh, her music video. I, again, I gotta say, the creative directing of her music videos are incredible. But to talk more about the actual song as well, because I've already mentioned a lot about the music video, I love it. I really love this defeated feeling that you get. Again, it's a, it's an incredibly, it's an incredibly relatable kind of song because while we ourselves might not be toys, we of course still want to fight for, for this love. How can I get your love? If we like someone, we of course are going to try to make that person like us as well. Well, whether that be it be change ourselves, whether that be just you know actually talking to them, I don't really know how, but there are obviously different different strategies to go, go about that and in that sense this longing but at the same time this defeatedness because this other person may already have disregarded you is so striking and so like so relatable and the way she actually conveys that through her vocals through the instrumentals through how defeated the whole song sounds is incredible I man I love I've, re I've really been loving this album and I cannot wait to get into the b-sides of the album but for now let me know what you guys thought about how can I get your love by Su Jung down in the comments below and I guess I'll see you guys next time.